Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about a few things. It's a couple days before Valentine's Day, so for anyone who is celebrating, you'll want to hear some of this. Because the subject, of course, is always love. But in this video, I'm going to share a couple things with you and kind of give you an overview, which I think a lot of people would like to see. Now, as you can see, I have my map here. It's been a while since I've done one of my map videos to sort of point out some things here. I actually have two maps. So what I'm going to show you is this. This is a map where I've, keep, I've kept track of people that I've worked with, had sessions with, and it's been from all over the world. So when I say I am both privileged and honored to hear your love stories, to work with you, you're bringing the world to me. And also, I'm honoring back by showing you where, you know, where are twin flames, okay? Now, there's a reason I'm showing you this. So come on in a little closer here. Okay, come on closer. I want to show you some recent areas that I've had are in Africa. Now, obviously, I do not speak every language. I think it's impossible for any one person to speak every language. However, I speak heart communication. And this is one of the key differences because no matter what language someone speaks, when they speak of their love, the heart communicates. And that's what I'm able to feel and interpret. Now, to show you all over Hawaii, Tahiti, the area around Tahiti, maybe you can't see that right there. Hawaii, Tahiti, New Zealand. And New Zealand, even though you're on the edge here, you're actually both on both edges here, you're here. And I've spoken to people on both the North Island and the South Island. Iceland, all over the United States, Alaska, Mexico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, Rio, Brazil, three areas in Brazil, Venezuela, and Cape Verde, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Namibia, South Africa, Tanzania, Mauritius, Somalia, Eritrea, and Morocco, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Tunisia, Tunis. A lot of countries in Europe, Iceland, Ireland, the UK, France, Portugal, Spain, Greece, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Italy, Sicily, Poland, Germany, Lituva, Ukraine, France, Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, a lot of countries, and in Asia, Tehran, people from Baghdad, Turkey, people from Israel, people from Egypt and these areas here, you know, sometimes these borders have changed a lot. Kyrgyzstan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, several areas of India and Sri Lanka. Mongolia, South Korea, Japan, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, particularly in Jakarta, and Australia. Australia 
several areas. Now, the thing that I want to show you here, and I'm trying to give everyone a shout here. So, hi, I'm sorry if I missed you. I'm doing my best here, but this is based on my actual experiences. I want to show you sort of groupings here. So, as you can see, there are some areas where I don't have anything. And some of that is due to current legislation. They simply do not have the internet outreach, or I can't reach in, or something like that, okay? In other areas, sometimes there is other situations going on, such as wars or conflict. However, if you look, in Australia, it's all the populated areas, all the populated areas around all the coasts, and some of these are representing areas that where the land has already awakened. So when I start getting calls from countries in certain parts of the world, that's telling me the land is waking up, the people are waking up, there's a surge of energy. So I thought you'd be interested to see this because certainly there's areas in Europe and the United States and South America, South, South America and Mexico where, yeah, we've considered ourselves awake or we've been awake. Now, there are regions of the world where there's a reason for it. So I have a second map here to show you. And this one is a handy dandy map I got from Doctors Without Borders. I want to show you something here. Just going to put a little piece of tape so that doesn't fall off. As you can see here, I've done a double line. Okay, there's a line here and there's a line here. Why did I put a line there? The reason is, is this has been a temperate area. So way back into ancient history, when there was an ice age and there were things that have happened with groups of people, groups of angelic humans, having people live in a temperate zone and be earth keepers was a part of the plan. And many people in this life, you're feeling parts of those sacred places, those sacred areas where the energies were specifically planted. And some of those have been ancient Peru. They've been the Yucatan Peninsula. They've been in the United States in Florida. They've been in Arizona, like in Sedona. They have been in Mount Shasta. They have been in ancient Egypt in Cairo and you also have England so as things started getting more and more temperate and the climates got better you could actually go live on the rose line here where the energies extended right up to Scotland you have ancient India here okay and you have ancient Somalia, okay? Now, what this has done is twin flames have been grouped in certain areas or have populated certain areas so that you keep, Australia's been one of those, the center, Uluru. You have Indonesia, Malaysia. And so you have energies that travel through the earth like this. Okay, and there are vortices of energy. A lot of people know about these vortexes, or the proper word is vortices. Now, if you look at this, okay, you'll see that the energy has been traveling, and a lot of people are drawn to these places. They'll say, oh, I want to go to Mount Shasta. Oh, I want to go to the pyramids. I need to go to some ancient temples in Angkor Wat. And it's all valid. But many of you have been in the process of releasing your ancient timelines because you no longer have to hold this. And that is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So as you are finding out who you are and awakening, and I am showing you here that it's, it's actually growing the list is growing of where people are waking up. So that's what I want to show you. That's sort of an overview. So if you're in a place and you feel like you're very alone, you're not alone. There's probably many other people nearby you that are just like you and possibly 
not really knowing how to talk about it or what this is or what it fully is and what does it mean. So the next thing I want to talk to you about has to do with the physical intimacy, okay? I am still on this topic of twin flame physical intimacy, and there's something that I want you to know. Some people are going around with a sense that happens around this time of Valentine's Day where they start to question and they say, he loves me, he loves me not. Or, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, maybe a twin's not that into me. Maybe they don't really love me. And maybe I'll never be loved. Maybe it's just not for me. And the answer is no. You did not feel what you initially felt to get dropped. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you're not imagining the things you're experiencing, which means you're not crazy. You may not know how it's all going to culminate together, but rest assured, just like we have had a plan for people to be earth keepers and amplify the energy in certain places, you have a personal plan to be together. Now, some of you have been those people in past lives, being somebody, being some, being a conduit for the love without everything all fully available to you. Which brings us to the he or she, I don't mean to sound sexist here, he loves me, he loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not. Or she loves me, she loves me not. Now, for the first wave people, and there are three parts of that first wave, you are at the end for first waves. You cannot cling to the past, and that's what some people are doing. They will say, well, I was in ancient Egypt, and we did this and this and this. Or they will say, I'm feeling these ancient timelines. I'm feeling something that... This is the way we did it, and yet you'll find out it doesn't quite work for you anymore. And there's a reason for it. It's because you're entirely new. It is because you cannot cling to the past. You are being pushed to be who you came here to be, and that means both of you. And it means getting your etheric body in movement. You're being pushed by your etheric body. What is that? That is the thing that brings you the physical intimacy. It's a part of you. You each have one. And in fact, everyone does. They're just not always aware of it. So I just want to show you something here about this energy. And I want you to see this. Do you see this depiction here? Now, this is a beautiful depiction by an artist named Dave Palumbo of the Ten of Swords. That's what this energy is for a lot of people. You're just fresh out. You've taken everything that you can possibly handle. You've got nine swords in your back. You've been backstabbed over and over until you're just completely drained out. There's no more life. There's no more fight left in you. And that is key. There is no more fight left. Okay? Now, this is the masculine energy, and many people are saying, well, the masculine is asking for forgiveness, the masculine wants reconciliation. However, both people in the union have masculine energy. It is not just men. So while this depiction here could be a male or a female, you're not really seeing any strong male characteristics. This could be male or female. One hand looks feminine, one hand looks masculine. We're carrying the sword. Our lifeblood has been drained out. And we're about as pretty dead to the world as we can be. What does this mean for your union? This means that all things from the past are coming to an end. You are at the end for the first waves. Now, this may make some people feel as though you're dying. You may feel exhausted. 
You may feel flat out. You may feel that you've come to the end of your rope. And you may feel even as though you've picked the one that says, he loves me not. Okay? But I say to you, don't give in to this. And do not despair. And how do you recuperate your strength? How do you get back what belongs to you? How do you get everything going again? It is through your etheric body. That is what I teach. In fact, when I first started my entire video series on YouTube, it was to tell you about you have an etheric body. And that is what I am teaching you about, not just your etheric body, but all of the other subtle bodies, how to get things going, how to remain connected, how to get your channels open. Now, I've been working with people for years, and yet this may be very new to you. You may say, what is that? What is that exactly? I, I don't know. I'm sensing there's something off, and that is what many people are actually missing. That is the missing piece for you. Okay, you might look at stuff, you might feel energies, you go look on the internet, you're getting some answers, but you're not getting the, what do I do about it? How do I be who I came here to be? Come and find out. Come and find out so that you are feeling that your twin loves you all the time, all the time, all the time, because I will tell you something, your twin flame loves you all the time, despite what they're saying despite the distance, despite any separation, or even in your own house when they're still kind of being a bit 3D. The masculine is not a caveman and neither is the feminine a cave woman. You are high angelics, you are high functioning beings, and you might not feel like you're functioning very well at this time. But you're a higher consciousness being, and the bar is being raised for you to step up and being pushed to be who you came here to be. Not just you are getting a push, your twin is getting a push. Now, if you want to get going with this in time for what's coming up in April and May, please join. Join my webinar. I have part two of physical intimacy, how you have your physical union and the physical intimacy that you want does involve more than your etheric body. So come and join and find out. Come and get the love and feeling back. Come and find out why do things, certain things feel like they're on the move. Come and find out why, why are so many people waking up all over the world? And these are, I'm sure, just the percentage of people that are actual, you know, because not everyone's having something, not everyone is feeling it to a degree yet. So part two is Thursday, February 15th, the 16th, that's a Friday in my evening. So it's Thursday, my morning, Friday, your evening, I'm sorry, my evening, maybe that's your evening also, or it can be the next day in Australia or New Zealand, Sunday morning. Okay, that's a Sunday, that might be Sunday night for some people, Sunday afternoon for some people if you're in Europe. And with this, you get part three. If you didn't join for part one, I supply you with part one. This is a great deal, and it is also going to benefit you to get you back into the feeling, and it is intentional in helping you get into the energies without a lot of the turbulence. Now, last year was different than this year is going to be. This year is, it's for real. Last year was a lot of decision-making time and some people said, you know what, I don't want any. Those of you who know your timeline is this year, know it. You know it because you feel it and there's just no other direction for you. Get started with knowing your etheric body and knowing about some things. All of the aches and pains and discomfort. I am very comprehensive with this. I give you suggestions on supplements. You get to uh, do live question and answer. We get the etheric body going, and we also do a true communion with your twin, not with a group of people, not with a collective. The collective is not the twin flame community. The collective, I define it as 
the group of souls that you originated from, your points of origin. You're not doing it with all those other people because they may be in a different wave than you. And you don't have to be concerned for them, even if they're family and friends. And that concerns a lot of people. They'll say, when is everyone waking up? You have to be concerned about you and your twin. And that's it. That is what you are doing. And that is uh, what I am teaching you. That's going to be something that will serve you well in the future because we're, we have several things that are going to happen this year. And I'm not outlining all of them right now because right now you need to focus on right now. Not what's going to happen next year. Focus on getting yourself to a point. So if you're feeling or you feel it from your twin that your twin is sort of in this position, okay? If your twin is in that position and fresh out, feels dead to the world, you feel dead to the world, well, come and do something about it because that's not where you're intended to stay. So I hope to see you there. The links are down below. Um, I also do reading sessions and I do causal body sessions and live body work here in Chicago. So if you're in Chicago, yes, I do. And I can be reached on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. And I'm doing a live Twin Flame class on the 24th and 25th of February. If you like these updates, please subscribe. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. Thank you to everyone who's joined. I hope that you like it, and I know that you'll find it helpful. Please do the things that I outlined for you because only you will benefit from them. So thanks so much for joining, and I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you. Enjoy your week. Bye.